When I started cubing, YJ was known for making budget cubes. Not like today's budget cubes that can nearly match flagships, but ones that were really nothing more than a cheap cube. However, over the past few years, YJ has had some huge successes in their budget U-Line and the slightly more expensive MGC cubes. Which brings me to today's video where I wanna take a look at one of their most recent releases, the MGC 4x4, as well as their pocket timer and speed cubing timer. As always, these cubes and timers are available at Daily Puzzles where you can buy pretty much any cube you can think of and save 10% off with my code TNLCubing. To not waste anybody's time, I'm gonna get straight into my thoughts on the MGC 4x4 because I know that's what a lot of you want to know about. The MGC retails for just 35 Australian dollars or 20 US dollars, and like most of the MGC line, you are getting your money's worth. It's reasonably fast, has decent performance and strong magnets. I personally really enjoy the magnet strength as they make the cube feel together all the time, which really helps during three x three stage. There are a few flaws to this cube, however, that don't hinder my solves much, but are definitely worth noting. Even on loose tensions, the normal corner cutting is decent, but reverse cutting and the inner layers, not so much. Still, for much less than most flagship 4x4s, I think the MGC is the perfect mid-range 4x4. I really love it and I can definitely recommend it. Now onto some really other interesting releases from YJ. First, we have the Pocket Timer. In short, it's an extremely portable but very basic timer that senses when you put your hands down on either side of it. You may have seen this thing floating around the community lately, met with a fair share of skepticism, but I think it's pretty cool. One thing that pretty much everyone has had trouble with is the responsiveness of its sensors. For me, it works perfectly on my mousepad and wood desk most of the time. I was really curious why on certain occasions, especially during filming this video, the timer just wouldn't sense my hands. But I'm fairly sure I've narrowed it down to the lighting. With overhead lights, like I used to take a lot of the shots in this video, the immediate surface around the sensors was in the shade. And I have a feeling that this lack of light around the sensors is what's causing this problem. But for everyday use with more natural and soft lighting, it's worked pretty much perfectly for me and I think it's a really cool and handy gadget. And it's only 1650 Australian or 10 US dollars. If you time on your phone, I don't really see a use for this. However, it's a cool thing to have in your collection. And lastly, YJ speed cubing timer. This timer definitely has its pros and cons. It has a really silky smooth finish similar to the pocket timer, something jarringly different from the speed stacks timers we're used to. I'm not a huge fan of the design. It's very blocky, gray colors, a bit of a tacky timer there. But the main thing this timer has going for it is its buttons. As you can see, the on and off buttons, save buttons, connection jack and reset buttons are all on the side of the timer. Whereas with your normal speed stacks timer, they're on the front, which as many people have unfortunately experienced, leads to timer resets at home and even competitions. Some of you may have seen organizers try and combat this issue with O-rings. However, I think having buttons on the side is 100% what we need in competitive speed cubing. There's a lot of reasons why I still don't see this YJ timer overtaking our classic speed stacks, but I think it's a step in the right direction. So those are my thoughts on this new cube and timers from YJ. They are definitely making leaps in the community to get cubes like this so much cheaper. And it's really awesome to see how much they've grown in the last few years. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the setup changes. As always, all the links are in the description. Go check out daily puzzles, like, subscribe, become a member, and I'll see you guys in my next video.